Okay, I'm going to do this on a fresh spreadsheet here. Uh, yours will be to the right of everything you've already done. And I'm going to start off by titling the column. And then I'm going to type in that formula that I uh, put into the sheets there. Uh, so what's going on here with this formula is I'm going from a normal inverse distribution. And essentially, I'm creating a normal distribution. Uh, this is going to give me a random point in a normal distribution in a bell-shaped curve that would have a mean of 48, 48 seconds in this time, and a standard deviation of 21, or 21 seconds in, in this case. So uh, someone, student number one, simulated robot student number one, holds their breath for 58 seconds, which is certainly reasonable. Now I could drag this down uh, the next 499 cells. A much quicker way is to cut it to clipboard, um, control C on a PC, or maybe command control C on a Mac, something like that. And then I'm going to click in that next cell, go over to the scroll bar, scroll to cell 501. And here's the important part, hold down shift before I click. And then I just paste it in there and it pastes the formula, which now gives me 500 breath times. Uh, that are reasonable. However, notice that I, I, I did have a negative one. So this is one, and certainly I wouldn't have any students holding their breath a uh, uh, negative time. This is one thing you get sometimes with simulated data uh, when it when it's based on a distribution that models real life. So we're going to live with that and put in a chart. Um, if if your histogram doesn't look like a normal distribution, I think this one actually looks pretty good. Uh, you could go to Customize, Histogram, Bucket Size, and you could play around with that bucket size a little bit. Um, maybe make it one, two, I think the default there was about five. Um, but playing around with bucket size isn't a bad thing. It, it just allows you to see the underlying data in a few different ways. Uh, and that is all you need to do with that one.